Okay, the next step in the examination of the abdomen is the palpation. Really, palpation of the abdomen is conducted via two uh, issues, first of all, or via two steps. First of all is the superficial light general palpation, and the second one is the deep palpation. In both, you have to check for the masses, tenderness, and in the latter, you have to check for visceromegaly. I will start with the examination of the superficial palpation. First of all, you have to ask the patient about any area of uh, pain and make sure that the patient had, uh, rel had been uh, relaxed for palpation and then you have to rub your hands because most of our uh, training time is uh, conducted by the winter season I'll start from the left iliac fossa in such a manner you have to have a straight almost straight arm and slightly flex the metacarbophalangeal joint in an anti-clockwise direction and your eyes should be directed to the patient's face to see whether the patient had any tenderness or not all this about the superficial palpation and then in the same manner but a little bit deeper and also ask the patient whether he had any area of uh, pain and uh, prior to that and to see his uh, facial expression about the pain the palpation or superficial palpation as I said it is performed to check whether the patient had masses or pain after that you have to check for visceral megaly or to check the internal abdominal organ for the liver uh, really we have two methods and the first one I will use my radial surface of my index finger as a sensory part after asking the patient to take deep breath with each height of uh, breath you have to press okay this is about the first maneuver the second maneuver I'll use the tips of my finger السهماتين نفس ودبة أشتيدك بعد 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 أشتيدك بعد Okay, once you reach the costal margin, you have to detect the liver span. How we can check the liver span? As we say, this is the suprasternal notch below which there is the sternal angle which correspond to second rib. This is the second rib. So this is the second intercostal space. I'll start percussion from here. To see the level at which the percussion notes became dull. Now it becomes dull. And then descend down. And then I'll start from the right iliac fossa upward. until the percussion notes became dull so this is the area of dullness we can check the liver span here so it is 11 normal the liver span is about 14 plus minus 2 once you check the liver or once you detect the lower edge of the liver or during the examination you had uh, detect palpable uh, liver you have to check the liver characteristics which are the size that's to say the liver span and uh, whether the uh, liver is pulp up is uh, pulsatile or not and then the edge surface consistency and whether the liver is tender or not all this about the liver after that I'll check for the spleen just to first maneuver you have to support the tissues here slightly while pulling it and also ask the patient to take deep breath and start from the right iliac fossa نفس نفس عشتي بك بعد 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 عشتي بك بعد عشتي بك then I'll perform the second maneuver حس تندار عليه النص عشتي بك also support the tissue here but start from the left hypochondrial area نفس نفس وكبه بعد بعد عشتي بك حس ترجع المكانك after you check the uh, discipline you have to check for 
for the kidneys. Kidneys are bimanually palpable. You have to uh, uh, press the uh, tissues in the uh, uh, at the renal angle here, just like here. Press it upward and slightly lateral to the implicus and slightly above to check for the left kidney and then the right kidney. Also, after asking the patient to take a deep breath, nefes, nefes, bad. Okay, also from this side, has bad. Okay, we'll see that the, if the kidneys are enlarged, you will see then that they are descend with each inspiration. After the kidneys, you have to check for paraortic for abdominal aorta and paraortic lymph node. For abdominal aorta or paraortic lymph node, you have to put your uh, fingers side by side, slightly lateral to the left, to the midline, and the press there. First of all, for the abdominal aorta, and then to press deep for paraortic lymph node. If the paraortic lymph node are enlarged, they will be palpable. Otherwise, they are non palpable. That's to say, in the normal status no paraortic uh, lymph nodes could be palpable after that you have to check for the at the inguinal area for common femoral vessel and lymph node first of all you have to check for uh, for the femoral uh, artery which is the landmark here at the midpoint in the mid of the inguinal ligament if we see here you can see my finger now had a transmitted pulsation. Really, here we use a mnemonic, which is nerve, artery, vein, empty space, lymph node. From here, you can check slightly medially for vertical lymph node, both lateral group, medial group, and lateral group. And then you have to check for the horizontal group. Also, don't forget to compare with the uh, left side. All these issues and skulls are uh, really required for the palpation of the abdomen.